Hi, today we're going to talk about Java random numbers and how we create random numbers in Java. First of all, why do we need them? Well, in gaming, you might want to program where Spider-Man should jump next. Or in a car racing game, what obstacle would appear next? And you want it to be random, otherwise your user will always know what to expect next. There's another application, this is encryption. We need random numbers to make sure that the encryption is secret and private. So in Java, we use math.random. It's one of the math classes um, ma um, methods. And it makes a random number which is from, all the way from zero up to just less than one. So if you look at the API documentation, it's a static method, which means you say math dot when you use it. It returns a double or a real number um, with a positive sign, as it says, greater than or equal to zero and less than one. So how do we use it? We might say system.out.println, math.random or int rand equals math.random. But let's do a little program and that will be the best way to see how it works. So I'm going to show you how to create a new project, Java with Ant, Java application. Next, this is NetBeans 12. Um, we're going to create a program called um, try random. And I put the folder where I want to save it. I will click finish. And then I get a new class called try random and always delete these comments because you don't need them. They just look untidy. Now we're going to try and print math.random. That's all we're going to do. So I type S-O-U-T tab. That gives me the system.out.print line command. Let's remove those quotes and I'm going to print type math.random and two brackets. So you can see We've printing system.out.println and in the brackets, we're just printing math.random. If I run that, there's the results. 0.38503466, ah, okay, 17 digits usually it gives me. It's a double or a real number. So that's a little bit awkward to work with. What if, um, let, let's actually, before we do that, let's put a for loop around this. So I go FOR and press the tab key. That gives me a for loop which will repeat 10 times. It goes from 0 to less than 10. I'm going to highlight this line and then drag it into the for loop. See, they're the two yellow curly brackets that start and end the for loop. I'm going to drag it inside there. So I'm going to print 10 random numbers now. Let's try and run this. And there are our 10 random numbers. You can see they're all about 17 digits long. We've got 0 0.0869, etc., 0 0.72, etc. And you can see it's always bigger than zero and less than one. That is what math.random gives us. 10 different random numbers because I repeated the loop 10 times. What if I now multiply this by 10. Remember, I'm going to create 10 different random numbers, but I'm multiplying by 10. Let's have a look. We now get 9.403, etc. You see that the number in front of the decimal point, that starts starting to look interesting. I've got 9523616682. And every time I run it, it's going to give me a different set. Now, the number in front of the decimal point is what I really want, because that's a nice, simple, small number. So I'm going to cast math.random. The way I do that is I put bracket in bracket, then a bracket in front of math.random, and I'll need another bracket here behind math.random times 10. I want to convert the whole of math.random times 10 into an integer, and bracket in bracket just um, chops the number behind the decimal point. 
let's see what this looks like. If I run it, just go shift F6, and there are my 10 random numbers. And that looks much better, more simple. So I've got 61913001176. You can see those are random numbers between 0 and 9. What if I wanted a random number between 1 and 10 instead of 0 and 9? All I'd have to do is put a plus 1 on the end. And then if I run it, shift F6. Here we go. 10 random numbers between 1 and 10. Well, I've only actually got between 2 and 9. Let's run it again and see if we get 1 to 10. Shift F6. And there you go. We've got a 10 this time. We still don't have a 1. But as we keep running it, let's try one more time. Shift F6. And, okay, it doesn't want to give us a 1. But definitely, this formula will generate a random number between 1 and 10. So the formula that we can use to generate a random number between 0 and 9 um, if you look at math.random, it gives you a number from 0 to 0 0.99999, with lots of 9s, but never quite gets to 1. Math.random times 10 will give you a number from 0 to 9.999. And then if we cast it using int, we will get a number from 0 to 9. And if you want a random number from 1 to 10, You'll do exactly the same as the last slide, but you will put a plus one on the end, and that will give you a number from one to ten. Um, so the general formulas, if you want to generate a number from zero to x, you say bracket int bracket, then a bracket math.random bracket bracket times, and you put x plus one in the brackets. And don't forget to close the brackets. If you want a random number from 1 to x, it's going to be bracket int math.random times x plus 1. You, if you're good at learning formulas, learn this one off by heart. Otherwise, please just remember that math.random on its own gives you a number from 0 to 0 0.999, and you can always work it out according to what numbers you want in the end. Here are some examples. If you wanted a number between 1 and 6 that would represent a dice, then you would say int bracket math.random bracket bracket times 6 because you want 6 different numbers and then plus 1 because you want to go from 1 to 6, not 0 to whatever. And then a number between 20 and 30 inclusive, that means including 20 and 30, and that's actually 11 different numbers. We would say bracket int bracket, then bracket math.random times 11. Close your bracket and plus 20. The times 11 is because we want 11 different numbers, and the plus 20 is because we want to start the number generation, the random number generation from 20. So that's all for today. Please subscribe and like this video. That way more and more people will get to know about um, my channel and I am able to help more people. So goodbye from IT's Clear.